What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Final Fantasy XI, I guess. Uh, it's been fascinating to see everybody talk about Bismarck and the history that this game has, uh, and it's meaning for everybody. It's kind of incredible. So, if a lot of you guys are coming back to the game, uh, there's a lot that has changed and a lot that hasn't changed. And I thought, since we're already starting to see a lot of people ask, I would cover a lot of the software issues within the game that you're going to have to tackle. So, if you're running just standard native Final Fantasy XI and you don't, and you're fine with that, that's great. Play the game, have all of the fun that you want. But if you want to download Windower, then you're going to have to kind of deal with uh, some kind of goofy stuff that's occurring. I'll pull this in here. So, Windower 4 uh, came around, I think it came around about a year ago. This added something new to Windower, which kind of caused a whole bunch of chaos. Um, it added scripting. So Lewis skipped scripting. And so whereas everything before was run by plugins and that was just kind of how it went, now you have all of these Lua add-ons and that, that makes things a little bit more complicated because uh, the game itself is its kind of interesting. The FFXI Clopedia isn't com totally complete. And the way that it's not complete is often covered by the Blue Garter Wiki. But these two products alone do not give you a full representation of the game. There's still going to be a lot of stuff that isn't covered, a lot of stuff that doesn't make any sense. And so, this is kind of the way it is for this entire game. There are part, portions of it where there's just no explanation for anything. And there probably never will be. And that's kind of the game that you're coming into right now. Everything's kind of all over the place at the moment. So download Windower 4, and the thing that you're going to see inside of Windower 4 is this window when you open it up. You're going to have to attach it to your uh, wherever your folder is for Final Fantasy XI. Now, the first thing that you want to do is go in here and set for your max resolution. You probably want a borderless window if your computer can handle all of that. Um, all of this stuff is going to be pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this bump mapping thing, you want this to actually be off because there's something that we're going to do here in a second that uh, you want it to be off for a specific reason. And so this is how I have it set up. You don't have to set it up that way. Now, the first thing that I did is I went to the old plugins. Now, Chatmon, this says, you've just received a tell. You've just been examined. It sends notifications that you've just, that an event has occurred. And they're pretty noticeable and they ignore the volume that the game is set at. So if you're kind of AFK waiting for something and you're, you maybe have to go to the restroom, you have to do something, it will send a notification that you will hear. And it's great. So then there's config. Now, config is amazing, mostly because it unlocks the game's frames per second. And so essentially you're going to install this and nothing's going to happen and that's fine. Now, if you go to the folder where your window or plugins are, and you go into the settings folder, you're going to see this config.xml, and you want to open that with uh, Notepad or Notepad++, whatever it is that you have. Inside of that folder, you're going to see this little, this text, just saying, you know, figure out what the aspect ratio is, okay, because that's going to be dictated by the windower. Um, you want this to be probably 1.333 uh, for a reason that we'll get to in a second. Then it gets into uh, auto-targeting, uh, draw distance, and all of that stuff. Down here, you've got three three uh, three issues or three. Uh, I'm really bad at lines of text. I guess I don't remember what that word is. So this is just saying keep it at two for 30 frames per second, one at 60 frames per second, or zero for uncapped. Now two is the default. One is what I would recommend it being, and zero. Zero is kind of a hack because it's going to unlock your frames per second, which basically means it's going to go as fast as your computer allows. Now, in Final Fantasy XI, because it was con it was connected to the PlayStation, frames per second is how people would do like speed hacks and things like that. So don't put it at zero, or if you're messing around with it, just do it inside of your Mog House so nobody can see you. But if you unlock it for 60 frames per second, this is what the game looks like. Uh, you've got amazing resolution through the windower, and then everything looks super smooth when you're walking around in your mog house. Uh, what else should I cover? 
we'll go back to the window we're here. So we'll just scroll down this list a little bit more. So Final Fantasy FFXIDB, where it says it displays an in-game minimap, that is this thing over here. And it is fantastic. If you're in a zone where you're looking for mobs to camp or if you're looking for NPCs, it will show you, like if you hit uh, like forward slash TA, whatever, it'll show you where that person is. And that's great. Guild work. So FFXIAH, the auction house site, the it uses this to maintain uh, bazaars on Final Fantasy or FFXIAH. So if you go to, uh, I guess I'm not gonna buy a Twilight Bunker. Uh, if you go here and click on whatever, it doesn't matter what it is, you'll find people are uh, bazaaring this stuff. And so each time you check somebody and look at their bazaar, you're going to basically update the FFXIAH site. So I highly recommend doing that. It's doing something, giving something back to the community. So then, uh, I have light luggage on. This is just going to automatically uh, stack for things like you. You can put in the IME so you can do Japanese text. Um, the info bar hasn't been updated in a really long time, so it's probably not worth your time. And then I use tickle and timers. Now what timers does is it puts... A little thing off to the side that shows you how long it will take for you to recast a particular spell. Now, I guess I'll try and show you this quickly. I'm gonna have to log into a different character. So you're logged into a character, maybe you're gonna go out and you're gonna do some sort of XPing or you're, gonna, you're actually doing XP areas. You, so this is what the timers does. It puts this little bar over here on the side that says how long do you have until you can cast that spell again. And so it counts down while this bar fills up. And once the bar fills up, your spell is, you can recast it again. It's pretty useful, honestly. And uh, so I think that's pretty much it for what I use. Then we go into adding, add-ons. Add-ons, I don't really use a whole lot. There's a lot of stuff that you can do, like auto-join if you want to create like a teleport bot, but you honestly don't need teleport bots anymore. This lock style stuff, um, this is all handled in-game now. You can actually set what your uh, outward appearance is going to be. Your uh, ranged attack, eh. A lot of this stuff gets into things that are handled in-game. And the one thing that I would recommend you don't do is there is a uh, an add-on that allows you to this uh, dress up and blink me not. Um, these two things have been not functional for a long time, and it's actually going to cause you some problems. I would recommend not going with that. Now, there's find find all and gear swap. These two products are probably something that you would want, but. Uh, they're going to be something that's a little bit more advanced. So once you start getting back into the game and get your gear up and you get a bunch of jobs to 99, look into Gear Swap because Gear Swap replaced uh, a different product of its same name and it does a lot of very complicated scripting for like gear substitutions and contingencies for uh, what equipment could be used in what spot. And then... So yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. I also log everything because it's useful. And there's a lot of stuff in here that I don't use, mostly because I'm just here to play the game. I want to see how Rhapsodies ends, and I just kind of want to be around until the game finally closes its doors. Now, in addition to all of those things, there's other software, other add-ons that you want to add to your game. Um, the first that I use is FFXI Vision. And what this does is it adds uh, camp or uh, ma maps to... Or custom maps to your character. This one's not a good example because they haven't added it yet. Um, so if we go maybe to Valcrum Dunes. So it will show you like, hey, Golden Bats over here, Stone Monuments over here. It'll tell it basically gives you a little bit of information about where certain mobs are in a particular time. Uh, the other 
products that I would recommend is FFXI View. This changes all of the existing fonts and um, cursors in the game so that they're more noticeable, they're more readable. It takes them out of the kind of PlayStation-based text that you're in there. And you can follow, You can the instructions are all included in these, so you should be able to figure it out. The other one that I recommend is Mappy, but Mappy is maybe uh, something that kind of breaks the terms of service. Uh, it basically gives you a live window in another screen that shows you where every single enemy is in the particular zone that you're in. Now, that gets into something that uh, sort of resembles, what was it, AP Radar, I think, is where this product came from. Now, it's up to you whether or not you want to go for something like that. It's not detectable in the way that the Square Enix sniffs packets, and really nobody's been banned for stuff like this in years. So uh, Square Enix has kind of get thrown in the towel and just said, you know, go and do whatever as long as you're not impinging on other people. So that pretty well covers everything. I hope that it makes sense. I'm going to put all of the links to these particular things in this video. And if you want me to go over anything, like how to install these particular products or anything like that, just let me know. Um, this is just kind of an overview about where they're at and what they do. So I hope it helps. All right.